this, I mean, virtually new 2400 Passport bunkhouse here at Halid RV, this is everything. This is what you're looking for in a used RV. This is late model. This has been <laughs> very gently used. Um, almost new RV where someone else basically paid for the depreciation then kind of handed it back. Uh, came to us from an Indiana owner who was ready to upgrade to something much larger. They swapped into a big 35, 36 foot triple slide Jayco bunkhouse here at Halet RV. Um, another out of state buyer visiting us here in Michigan. We seem to have a lot of that. Proof to the fact where I always say no one's uh, too far away to work with Halet RV. So this is one of their like top five selling floor plans at Passport and our numbers echo that and for good reason. It's incredibly lightweight at only like 43 or 4600 pounds or whatever. I just looked at the tag. I mean, you know like when you look at your, your watch and someone asks you what time it is and then you look at your watch and then you look at them and then you have to look at your watch again. That's sort of what I just did with the weight tag on this. I looked at it and I don't remember exactly what it said even though I just looked at it regardless. Visit our website. There's a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. That will show you what we have in stock, what we're asking, etc. Now something you're not seeing here is this actually includes a full RV cover, which is one of the reasons I am seriously considering uh, calling the wife when this one's done and saying, hey, honey, you want to come in and look at uh, maybe our new camper? Uh, that's not even an exaggeration. That's not a joke. Uh, if you folks are interested in this, you might want to call sooner than later. We've got a general policy here at the store where uh, when we get a trade-in, it's, you know, it's for the customers first and the employees don't get to cherry-pick stuff. We have a, a little like holding grace period. If that expires, I might seriously be looking to put myself in this one. That is no joke, no exaggeration. I have that kind of confidence in the Passport product, first of all. But secondly, the way this is kept, the cleanliness, and a full RV cover so it hasn't been exposed to the sun. I mean, you can see the, how the gel coat is still gleaming on the walls here. This is everything I personally look for in a used RV. This is as close to flawless as you're going to get on a used camper, guys. I also like the chassis these ride on, that um, aircraft style chassis on these. It is lighter but stronger and what it creates is uh, a better foundation. You know, if you want a good house, you start with a good foundation. Everybody knows that. Well, this one meets that criteria. It also has a uh, fully enclosed and heated underbelly, which is something I like, because that not only helps for just cold camp situations, which here in the Midwest, that's, that's the first thing people think of is, oh, it'd be good for cold camping. But people don't realize that enclosed underbelly also helps your hot camp scenarios as well. The reason being, think about it, cold air falls down. Well, your cold air from your air conditioner starts up top at the roof level on uh, uh, RV. So if it has to go down, hit the floor, and then, uh, you know, uh, diffuse heat through the floor, having an enclosed underbelly with an extra layer of a huge dead air pocket in there, that's a huge insulator. It helps keep the air conditioning in the camper, just like it helps keep the heat in the camper. It does a great job. I like that all of your slide windows open for airflow over here. And uh, the sun's at a rough spot. We do have an outside utility shower and black tank flush next to your hookup station there. Um, the... Uh, Passports have an all aluminum frame. In point of fact, they actually have galvanized steel roof trusses. It's generally marketed as all aluminum because what people are really looking for is, is it stick built or has it got a metal skeleton? This one has a metal skeleton, like the, uh, you know, the Terminator. So the only problem with a passport is when you buy one, unlike Arnold Schwarzenegger, you won't be back because people tend to hold on to these longer. This is an exception to the rule. You don't see late model passports like this out there. The only reason this is here is they want to go much, much, much larger. I also love the, this has a maximum size patio awning. That's another thing I really like about the 2400 passports that we carry here at Halet RV. I mean, we have this floor plan new in stock from uh, Coachman, from Jayco, uh, the, uh, your, some of your Forest Rivers, um, Keystone, obviously, uh, it's just all kinds of stuff. Winnebago, we do a lot of these in a Winnebago too, but I, I really like the overall package they put here. You're getting the most trailer per dollar 
really, on a, on a passport because they spend very smart money. They do everything that matters. Like I, their outside kitchen, those extra little wing out countertops, awesome, nice touch, you know? Little cute stuff like that, but it's useful. Again, that maximum size patio awning goes all the way up to the taper of the roof line to give you uh, just as much patio space as possible here. The bigger folding entry handle makes life simple, uh, easy, coming in and out, you know? The triple steps. Now, you don't tend to see a lot of double steps on something this size, so it's not that that's uncommon, but I do like the, that easy first step, so that first giant step isn't like too much for my daughter or something like that. And you saw the extremely wide baggage compartment in here, and that gives you a peek at the all-aluminum structure found on a passport. Now, something else I want to point out, actually a perfect example right here, double-sided vertical welds. That maybe doesn't seem like anything important to you, but that's something that a lot of brands don't do. They will only double-side horizontal welds, not vertical welds. And there was a brief period for supply issues. Passport actually is using a different lock set, like you see right here. Um, so this does not have a generic key that everybody and their brother at the park has. So in a way, you've kind of got a little more security here. Not necessarily intentionally, but look at this. I mean, the previous owners, they even installed the handy little, like, screen door pull shut handle. That's not a big deal. I mean, you can throw that on any camper, but they did it. You know, they weren't reefing on this thing right here. They weren't, they, they really took care of this. They knew how to camp. They knew how to take care of it. And it is clean, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't smell like people body odor in here. It doesn't look like it's been worked over. Now, the only thing I would do if I end up purchasing this uh, is I would swap these incandescent bulbs out for LED replacements as they burn out. That's it. That's the only thing this thing needs right here. Other than that, it does camp right. And frankly, it doesn't even need that. It's, that's even, even that's a preference, you know. Full storage below the U-Dinette. That can fold down into a seven-foot sleeper. Your slide-out is surrounded by big windows. When that slide's closed, you can sneak through here, so this is a very pack -em up traveler's friendly floor plan, because when the slide's closed, you can still get to the bathroom, uh, in part due to this um, combination adjustable pantry closet over here. This can become and adjust to whatever you want and or need it to become. That's a nice little feature on these. They're not the only ones that have something like that, but I'll point it out wherever I can. Uh, beds are rated at 300 pounds per sleeping space. Uh, you see that you've got uh, ventilating bunk windows. Well, another thing I want to point out here is when you have the outside kitchen open, that side window is largely covered. That is why Passport added an extra window back here. It gives you extra light, extra airflow, and look up at the headboard area of the bunks. There's power outlets for the kids. Uh, we got the pirate toy chest <laughs> storage down there. Um, now, you notice in the kitchen, they have uh, an additional skylight, but that's not just a light, that's also a vent. So if you want airflow, or if you're just cooking up a storm and you want to exhaust heat, this camper can do all that for you. Speaking of airflow, another thing I like about the passports at Halitz is they put these very large windows here in the kitchen. That is, this is one of the biggest kitchen windows I see in almost any camper, and I like the extra light and the extra airflow. The other thing is this is a bunkhouse. Presumably, you got kids. And you're going to want to keep an eye on them. And this window right here, straight off, like you look straight out this uh, from the dinette, lets you keep an eye on the kids. Almost past the bathroom. I have a habit of doing that. So here in the bathroom, uh, you know, it's a simple, but it's effective. This is something Keystone has done extremely well for years. And really, I mean, it's just the entire business model of the Passport brand is let's do all the things that matter but we're not going to spend money on nonsense. There's no nonsense money in here. Everything in this is all, uh, you know, thriller, no filler, basically. I like that the you got a nice little corner-mounted sink. You see that you got GFI protected outlets and a real medicine cabinet, not a uh, just a mirror stickered onto the wall, necessarily. Let me spin you around here like a record, baby. Uh, sliding pocket privacy doors. Again, this, that's something that at these dollars and cents, when this was built, it's far more common now, but when this was built, not everything had sliding pocket privacy doors up on the bedroom. That's one of those areas that Passport identified as a key critical feature. They spent money where it needed to be spent. Now, uh, the TV, you're looking at this like, yeah, but if I'm sitting in the dinette, I can't see the TV. That swings out so that you can see it from the dinette. Now, down below it, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player, so all your entertainment needs are handled. Um, you've also got 
full 100% access to all of the storage below the counter here. Case in point, cracker open, big wastebasket space back here. Uh, there is a, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see, you can see a cabinet door on the back side a little bit there. Uh, so right when you walk in the entry door, there's a place you could use as a shoe garage, and it can be a hidden shoe garage, which is nice, or just bonus cabinet storage space. Um, the bedroom, let's move up front here. One of the things I like about this, and this is a key area I like to talk about in the past for us here at Haylitz, is a lot of people will uh, walk into one and immediately go, oh, yuck, nope, I don't like how the bed goes right up to the doors. And I understand why you say that, because most ultralights, um, fewer today, but still most ultralights, have 74-inch camp queens. A lot of brands do have a full, true 80-inch queen like this Passport, and that is why I don't care that the bed goes all the way up to the doors, because even a tall guy like me can lay on this bed and my feet are not kicking the walls. I'm not, I'm not gonna have to listen to that all night, you know? I can lay on this without my feet hanging off the bed. This is the same size bed that you have at home. And if you are curious, let me shed some light on the situation here just a moment. We got the technology. Down on the base of the bed, you do have power outlets. So if you want to run phone chargers or alarm clocks or anything like that, you can do all that right here. Like, that's what I like about these guys. They do everything that you need, and they do it exactly where you need it, and they do exactly how much of it you need. And this even has a full cover. I mean, that's a couple hundred bucks worth of, worth of stuff right there that uh, a previous owner's taken care of for you. That ain't all bad either. That's, I mean, I'm serious. This is... Uh, this is a fantastic opportunity. If you've never had a camper and you just don't want to pay a full RV price tag, but you want something nice and new and you don't know what to do with RVs because you're new at this, so you, you need something that you're not going to have to put a lot of uh, elbow grease and maintenance effort into immediately here, this is your camper right here. It's new enough. It's been protected. It's been well kept. It doesn't need tons of maintenance, you know, just regular small routine stuff. And you're, I mean, you're getting pure value here. You're not paying new RV depreciation price tag money. You're paying used RV value money. You know, this is the equivalent of like a 5,000 mile used car, guys. <laughs> jump on it. Just jump on it. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.